सो हेलो एवरी वन कंटिन्यूंग विद अवर सीरीज ऑन प्रीवियस ईयर क्वेश्चन ऑन जी एस थ्री इन दिस सेशन वील आई बी टेकिंग द थीम ऑन एनवायरमेंट एंड डिजास्टर मैनेजमेंट विच कम्स इन जी एस थ्री इफ यू लुक एट द सिलेबस वी वुड सी दैट द सिलेबस ऑफ एनवायरमेंट एंड डिजास्टर मैनेजमेंट देर ओनली जस्ट वन लाइन सो इफ यू लुक एट द सिलेबस ऑफ एनवायरमेंट इट ओनली टॉक्स अबाउट दिस कंजर्वेशन environmental pollution and degradation and environmental impact assessment so broadly speaking there are four things and if you look at the syllabus of disaster management disaster and disaster management so these are the syllabus of both these themes first we'll be covering the theme of environment question number 1 explain the causes and effects of coastal erosion in india what are the available coastal management techniques for combating the hazard so it is asking about coastal erosion what are the available coastal management techniques for combating the hazard so beginning with see for environment there are a couple of reports that you can always refer to while you are writing your answer it can be some reports some data or some finding of the cop summit like this year cop 29 would be in baku so aap cop summit जो सी ओ पीज होती हैं उनके कुछ कुछ फाइंडिंग्स को कोट कर सकते हैं आई पी सी सी की रिपोर्ट जो होती है आप उसकी फाइंडिंग्स को यूज़ कर सकते हैं उसके भी जो असेसमेंट रिपोर्ट्स होते हैं यू कैन कोट देम इंडिविजुअली अगर आप देखें तो अगर मिनिस्ट्री ऑफ इन्वायरमेंटल का एंड फॉरेस्ट कंजर्वेशन एंड क्लाइमेट चेंज इसकी कुछ फाइंडिंग्स हैं तो यू कैन कोट दैट सो ये दो तीन बॉडीज uh, हैं जिनकी रिपोर्ट्स uh, को फाइंडिंग्स को या डेटा को आप यूज़ कर सकते हैं अपने पर्टिकुलरली इन्वायरमेंटल के आंसर्स में सो बिगनिंग विद अवर फर्स्ट क्वेश्चन सो कोशल इरोशन की ये बात कर रहा है एंड सी इफ यू सी द इंट्रोडक्शन एज पर द सिक्स असेसमेंट रिपोर्ट ऑफ द इंटर गवर्नमेंटल पैनल ऑन क्लाइमेट चेंज कोस्टल एरियाज विल सी कंटिन्यूड सी लेवल राइज throughout the 21st century resulting in coastal erosion and more frequent severe flooding in low lying areas causes simple hai cause pucha hai effects puche hain what are the management techniques so this is a very straight forward question dimensions create karne ki aapko alag se zarurat nahi hai number one causes of coastal erosion natural reasons are there heavy rainfall leading to reduction in soil strength ocean currents natural hazards like tsunami cyclone sea level rise due to multiple reasons of which global warming is one of the major reasons then monsoon reversal of wind pattern so these are some of the natural reasons of coastal erosion kyunki coastal erosion ki baat ki gayi hai so we can always draw this diagram highlighting the peninsular india uh, we have a coastal length of say, almost 7500 km then coming to the anthropogenic reasons sand mining is one of the biggest reasons of coastal erosion coral mining construction of upstream dams that reduces the flow of sediments rapid urbanization enlargement of natural coastal inlets waterway construction etc are some of the other reasons for coastal erosion then what are the possible effects number 1 on local economy tourism and fishing industry has harmful effects through the erosion on agriculture we see salty sea water intrusions could be there that could impact the soil fertility and in turn affect the productivity of the area on biodiversity ecological degradation as coral reefs mangroves aquatic flora and fauna they can could be endangered for example olive ridley turtle nesting place may get damaged on uh, gahir matha beach in odisha then on humans more susceptible to coastal hazards like cyclone loss of land loss of lives could be there due to then on critical infrastructure yes offshore oil units windmills we even have some power plant nuclear power plants on the coastal areas of india then coastal management techniques so coastal management techniques natural barriers can be created against coastal erosions it can be planting more mangroves if you refer to the tsunami of 2004 the pichavarman pichavaram mangroves of tamil nadu they proved to be a quite strong barriers against the strong tsunami waves then coral reefs could be one coastal mapping and planning through institutional efforts like national center for sustainable coastal management 
coastal regulation zones yes crz as suggested by salesh nai committee to regulate the infrastructure beach nourishment that is addition of sand to beach to restore its natural slope artificial infrastructure creation like sea walls and clearing of beaches and coast you know there's there's something called blue flag certification blue flag certification by a denmark based institution so these are certain things that can be done as part of coastal management techniques traditional knowledge and methods like putting sandbags to reduce the impact of waves so these are certain things that we can do thus coastal regulation the coastal erosion is interlinked with sea level rise induced by global warming integrated comprehensive methods must be adopted for long term sustenance of economy as well as environment